protesters take to the streets after two Portland police officers are cleared of any criminal charges in the deadly shooting of a Portland man. This is Coin 6 News at 11 o'clock. I'm Jennifer Hoff. And I'm Jeff Gianola. And surveillance video was released right after that grand jury decision. And that video leaving many people with more questions. Arvelina Jones spoke to Patrick Kimmon's mother. He's the man who was shot and killed. Valina live at the Portland Police Bureau tonight with the latest. Valina. Well, Jeff, tonight his mother tells me after seeing that video, she is still looking for answers while Chief Outlaw says her department is being as transparent as possible. Protesters stopped traffic Tuesday after a grand jury decided the two officers seen in this video the night 27-year-old Patrick Kimmons was killed were justified when they fired 12 rounds, hitting him nine times. My son Patrick Kimmons had his hands up, balled in two fists, and was taking them bullets, and then he collapsed, and once he fell, they got, there was a butt on the side of him still shooting him. How could you shoot a person that's no longer a threat? Family and friends of Kimmons block streets, ending at City Hall. The protest at times getting heated between supporters and counter protesters. If your brother was dead, would you be trying to. New surveillance video released from Portland police show the parking lot that night from Southwest 3rd and Harvey Milk Street. Investigators say Kimmins had a handgun and fired five shots, injuring two people in a fight around 3 a.m. September 30th. Kimmins' family does not dispute his role in the fight. So he was wrong, and he would have went and did his jail time for that. But do not believe the video shows the whole story. And there's a lot of questions that's not being answered, and, you know, we just want the truth. We want to show the truth. We want the public to see the truth, you know, show the whole video from the beginning to the end. Police Chief Daniel Outlaw tells Coin 6 more answers will come once their investigation is complete. That video doesn't answer or provide every answer uh, to questions that we might have. But I wanted to make sure that I stood true to the commitment of sharing information as we could when we could. Outlaw invited community members in a private meeting to view the video before it was publicly released. An action she hopes will lead to a stronger relationship. Knowing that it was a huge gamble, but doing what we could to show that we were committed to being open when we could and being willing to listen. Now, grand jury transcripts are expected to provide more details, both from the officers involved and witnesses. However, those are not expected to be released for weeks up to months. As far as the family, they tell me tonight they are planning to file a lawsuit. In downtown Portland, Valina Jones, Coin 6 News. All right, Valina, thank you. And earlier today, our photographer was out at those protests when he saw the brother of Patrick Kimmons, the victim, get hit by a pickup truck. He says that he was just trying to get all those protesters out of the street when it happened. The truck is, is like breaks through the crowd, so the crowd spurses, and I'm like, whoa. And when I stop like this, he still just boom. He just boom, and he knocked me back like four feet. And I'm like, whoa, and he come again and boom, knocked me out the way. Police arrested 55-year-old Mark Dickerson, and he's since been charged with assault, reckless endangering, and reckless driving.